In this video, we will take a look at using the setup group of functions in the labor scheduling template for Microsoft Excel. I'm working specifically with the retailer's version of the product, but these functions are almost identical in the basic version and the planner's version. We're looking at the moment at the assignments page of the template, and you will see that in the left hand columns, we have a list of our current employees and their roles. The last of our employees is James Donaldson. He is a team lead. This same list of employees and roles appears elsewhere in the template. If we look at the, their availability, we can see the same list of employees and roles. To simplify maintaining the list of employees in the company, in the setup group, we have a button employees, which takes us to our Microsoft Excel table that provides the details of all of our current employees. It gives for each of them their name, their role in the organization, their hourly pay rate, and if we have committed to a minimum weekly number of hours to schedule them, it provides that information also. If you've worked with Microsoft Excel tables before, you'll find updating this table very straightforward. There's plenty of documentation elsewhere on the web if you want to read more about it. But simply, if we want to add an employee, we can come down to the bottom of the table, drag to add an additional line, and enter the name and role of our new employee. We select the role from a list. I'll show you how to add or change that list in a few minutes. Enter their pay rate, and enter the number of hours that we've committed to schedule them for the week. You can continue to add additional items in this table if you wish to, or indeed if there are changes to be made, you can come up and make those changes directly, or by popping up the menu using the right click, you can delete items as well. As you'll see when we return to the assignments page after the spreadsheet has updated, that when we come to the bottom of our list, we now have Ray Aston in our list of employees on the assignments page, he is a cashier. And similarly, when we go to the availability page, Ray Aston is there as a cashier as well. And we can start entering data about his availability and scheduling. Now, as I said a moment ago, we also have the ability to maintain these roles. We do that in the setup section by clicking on roles. We have a very similar Microsoft Excel table here, much simpler in this case. And again, we can add, change or delete entries in this table in the same way as we did with the employees. I won't add one now, that should be straightforward for you. Okay. Finally, in the operating hours section, we can set up the hours that our business operates on each day of the week. You can see at the moment, we are closed on Sunday. On Monday we are open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and similar definitions of our operating hours for each day of the week. These can be changed with a simple drop-down list. So if we decide we're going to be open until 9 p.m. on Tuesday, we simply make that change. Now when you leave this page there's quite a lot of updates that need to be made in the background. It's obviously not a change you're likely to be making very often, but you do need to be a little patient as the spreadsheet updates. And that concludes our review of the setup group of functions in the labor scheduling template for Microsoft Excel.